for this part, we're doing a variety of inspections. One of the interesting things about this machine is that it runs four different part variants. The parts themselves are similar, but there is changeover required on the machine. So we have to do things like swap out nests, change infeed parameters, change vision programs. And we're able to do that uh, seamlessly and fluidly, uh, where the vast majority of it can just be taken care of through the HMI. The other really interesting thing about this machine is that not only do we do qualitative inspection, but we actually do high dimensional, uh, high tolerance quantitative inspection as well. And we're doing that in a tight cycle time, three seconds or less, and we're doing it in a modular machine where we're swapping parts out. And we're also, interestingly enough, looking at internal features on the part. We have a station where there's what we call a sight pipe. A tube uh, with a special lens comes down into the inside diameter of the part. Uh, and a camera mounted above actually gets a 360 degree view of the internal part features. It's something that was kind of difficult to specify and debug, but it's something that uh, ended up working out wonderfully. And I think it's uh, a station where the customer will be very happy with the end result. After we go through all the inspections on the dial table, uh, we actually pick the part up and we press the part with a set amount of force. If it runs through a ring gauge, it's considered to be a good part. If it doesn't, that means that the part is either oversized on the diameter or it's not circular. It has some type of out of round or elliptical condition. Uh, in that case, the part gets ejected from the ring gauge from underneath and then the robot's going to drop it off in a reject bin. Good parts, obviously, the robot grabs and he packs out uh, into trays, which our customer then ships directly to their end customer.